Hi guys, welcome to this help video series where we will be taking a look at the features of the template and how we can customize it. So we can go ahead and start and to start off we're going to jump immediately inside main comp. So inside the project window in here you will find some different compositions. You have place your logo here, composition, create logo outline, background, then you have two main comps in here. And we're going to go ahead and start from main comp for now and then we will see how we can use the, the logo later on. So uh, let's enter inside main comp. In, at this time you have to choose the resolution that you want to render in in the end. So either choose 4K or Full HD. In this case I'm going to choose Full HD. Just double click on that and it will open right over here. So if you, we look down here we can see that we have some features in here and uh, basically you have the control panel in here which if you go to the effect controls as you can see in here we have some different settings that we can that we can select so things like the neon light amount and the reflect rotation and things like that then we have the actual 3d element which is the element 3d color one and color two here then you have the place where you're going to type your text. Then you have two compositions that you will use for the for the logo if you're using any logo or image. And then here you have some different camera animations. And also some different spotlights in here. So let's go ahead and go inside the camera animation in here and see which animations you have. So to choose a different camera animation, all you need to do is you need to highlight another one from here and untick another one and it will change as you can see the camera animation now right now this preview is set to to draft quality so that everything renders fast this can be later later on switched to to full to full quality to get the final neon effect but for this purpose we're keeping it like this just to preview things out so as you can see, these are the different camera animations. And you can go ahead and choose which camera animation that you like most from here. You have this nice rotation here. And more anima camera animations in here. So I'm going to leave it at camera animation one. Of course, you can also create your own camera on the scene. So we can, you can create your own camera and your own camera animation and that will work seam seamlessly as well. So if you would like to add more camera animations, you can go ahead and add. Now if we look in here, we have some spotlight animations in here. So by default, the template is set to spotlight one and spotlight two in here. But if you would like the light to be animated, you can select, deselect these and you, you can select then Spotlight 3 and 4. You would mainly see the chains in, in here if we change this to, to preview or, or for render in here. So let's do that. And as you can see, as we select different spotlights in here, the lighting of the scene would, would be different. So with spotlight three and four selected, if we scroll through the timeline, you can see how the spotlight is being animated around the scene, just like that. And the shadow would react to that spotlight. So that's it for the spotlights. I'm going to leave it for on spotlight one and spotlight two for now. And then another thing that you have is camera shake in here. So if I go ahead in here and uh, put this back to, to draft quality from here. If I go to camera shake and click on it, you can see that in here you have the camera shake amount. Now to use this camera shake, what you need to do is you need to select the camera that you're going to be using and simply click this button in here and parent it to the camera shake. Then from here, you can increase the camera shake amount. And if we render it a bit in here, you can see how the camera is shaking a bit. If we increase the camera shake amount considerably, you can see how the 
shake becomes much more violent in here just like that so you can use this feature if you would like it is there for you so that is how the camera shake would work I'm going to remove this for now and let's go ahead and see what we have next so the next thing would be the control panel which is present in here and we'll go over this in a video on its own once we have seen how we can customize other looks of the template so in the next video we will be seeing how we can customize the text and how and how this would work with with our template so let's go ahead into our next video